Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. I said Mad Dog Englishman Joe Cocker. Bringing us back 23 after the hour. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I'm Jim Blassingame. I am the Small Business Advocate, and that's my website, smallbusinessadvocate.com. Check it out when you get a chance. Lots of stuff there that will help you with your small business. Marie Dubuque is our guest. She's our etiquette expert in the Brain Trust. She's been a member for a long time, certified life coach, etiquette, and social interaction interventionist. And, and that's what she's doing here. An author of a number of books, uh, youtube.com slash manners by Marie. Is that right? That's right. How about you that? don't need it, to, Jim. You do not need to go there. You are perfect. Can I just say? <laughs> I'm you, trying to make I, your day after your I need you to, members I, I, sabotage I'm, you. I I'm don't gonna, know what happened. I'm going to make my I'm going to make my uh, my folks here go and come back and listen to this. So, okay, Marie, <laughs> let's talk about let's talk. You, you mentioned taking a gift to a uh, to a, a Christmas party, and I said that more than likely I would have already done something. And I, if you notice, I I think I probably said done something. Which doesn't mean that I gave them a gift. What do you talk to us about your thoughts on gift giving to to customers? I like what you you probably send something to all your your clients, and that's a really great idea. So either send something, do a mass mailing of gifts, not just cards, gifts, yeah. and or bring bring um, a gift to the holiday party. And I would I would stay away from alcohol yeah. because you don't know people you don't know people if they drink or right. don't drink. Candy's always a great one. Mm-hmm. Some really fine candy. And I'm not talking about the grocery store candy. You've got to get some of the nice small candy. Right. Right. <laughs> or one of those uh, gift baskets are really great and, and they don't have to cost a lot. You can buy bulk on Amazon mm-hmm. or any of those. They'll they'll they've got great deals. You know those little nice um gourmet gift baskets are not mm-hmm. expensive. They look hot, really, really classy. You know, we, what we do here, Marie, and this start, we started doing this years ago. Uh, and I, and I, love to, I tell this story every year because I think, I think it's important to tell. I, I went in my kitchen in my office uh, a few years ago, five or six years ago, and, and the thing was full of Harry and David uh, those, those barrels, right? The Harry and David Oh, barrels. I love those, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, we do too. But there was a lot of rotten fruit in our in our kitchen. What? Because you didn't we had all it? we had all this fruit but but it wasn't all getting eaten and there was all this candy that I didn't need really and all this stuff. And so I I went to my I went in to the, to the office and I said to the folks I said, "How much do we spend on this kind of stuff for our customers?" And they added it up and it was it was four figures. Ah, oh, wow. Counting postage and and shipping, and, and, and we also sent Christmas cards, holiday cards, okay? And so wow. it, was, it was four figures, not, not low four figures. And I said, you know what? I don't think, and, and I said, Have we, has anyone ever thanked us for the fruit? And they said, no, no, no one's ever thanked us for the fruit. What? So I, I, I went into my office, Marie, and I sat down. And I wrote up a letter that we still use today after all these years. And basically it said, I've been thinking about you, and I believe if you're like me, you have all the fruit and candy you need. <laughs> but, you, but, but there are people out there who have greater needs and less resources. And so this year, in, in honor of you, we're going to contribute the money we would ordinarily spend for fruit and nuts and candy and send it to these two or three charities. Wow, what a great idea! And we yes. put their we put their the, the website of the of the charities in there to explain them a little bit, and you know what, we have gotten lots of thank yous for that letter. Oh, and we just mail the, then we just mail the letter and then we give the donation to the organization. And here's what else happens: the organization gets donations from people who get the the letter and say, "I've been looking for a place to donate. These people have already done my due diligence." Wow. That's a great idea, and you could put it in your clients' names too. That's you could, a great idea. You can do that idea. if you want. You can do that if you want to. But what we do is we just we just send one donation, and we t- we tell my our, all the folks that we're involved that you know this is in honor of you. And rather than you know, I don't think you need another pair or another another box of candy, but these people can use the money. 
Right. What a great idea. Because like you said, if you get so many, you can't eat all the fruit. No. Nope. And, and why not... Why not give it to somebody who can't? Wow, that's a so, great so we've idea. Okay, I've changed my whole stance. That's we've been a great doing idea. we've been doing that for five <laughs> or six years now, and and it's amazing how much. Now, if you if you want to get if you want to get uh, mileage for with folks, th- that gets their attention. And I'm that, I'm on a I'm on a one man maybe we are my wife and I are on a a two person crusade to get more people to do that. In fact. Uh, 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 my my family's un- maybe a little unhappy about this, but we don't give adults presents anymore. We find people who need things and give it and give them something in there. And, and you know, I mean, what do we what do I need, Marie? That's a what great do you, idea. What do we yeah. really need? Yeah, right? you know, and I thought what you just said about how you got thank yous mm-hmm. from when you donated, but you didn't get the thank yous when you gave. Never them got gifts it. Never. Nobody they didn't ever thanked remember me. the gifts. Nobody right. ever thanked me for the fruit. Because I got so many baskets, That's probably. Right. That's right, right, right. And, right. Now, and yeah. see, I'm a Scrooge, Marie, so this makes me feel like not, not so much of a Scrooge. <laughs> I can, you know what? I'm going to do that, too. I, I love that idea. Well, I, and, and also, you know, you don't have to wonder about what to buy. You don't have to worry about whether it's wine or whatever. Hey, Marie, uh, what's, on your, what's on your YouTube this week? Oh, I'm talking about holiday parties, and All I'm right. going to make a video about this. Oh, your idea. What a great good. idea. Good. Well, thank you so much. Thank for you, Marie, me for being on. here. YouTube.com slash Manners by Marie. Check it out, Marie Dubuque. And uh, I feel so much better having talked to Marie. Heaven, don't you? Oh, you made my day. Thanks, Marie. See you next time. <laughs> bye bye now. Quick break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Because this land's the place I love. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience, except as otherwise provided by copyright law. All other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.